Let's talk about character styles right now. Um, so you already know about the character panel. It's basically doing any kind of character. But now we're going to talk about character styles. So I'm going to op open up I want to close my pages panel and I'm going to open up my character panel and you'll see here I have I have a character style that I've already created um, and how I did that was when I open this I open the little panel options button and I click new character style and I'll, we'll go ahead and do this um, and so what you can do here is you can create a style for a specific thing in your document so maybe it'll be uh, headings or um, let's let's say um, if we were writing something about authors, so you can say author names. You can base that style on another style if you have a style created already, but you don't have to. And then um, you can just go down the line over here, this list over here, and make some changes. So the most important one here is the basic character formats. And this is where you will pick the font family. So I have these I like to use all the time. So I'll pick um, Gan Gil Sands Ultra Bold. And you can say, uh, well, because this is a bold font, it only has one font style. But if you picked a different font, it would have bold, italic, and anything else that's available on your computer. And then you can pick the size. So let's pick um, 18. And you can also adjust the kerning and the letting and um, if it's going to be all caps or small caps or whatever. Let's do that. And then you, if you go to well, advanced uh, character formats will allow you to make the fonts taller than their um, uh, pixel size or wider than their pixel size. Or And you guys know how this works. We learned about this uh, before. Um, and then character color that's, of course, where you can choose what color you want this particular character style to um, make your fonts or lettering. And then there's some other ones here. There's open type features, underline options, strike through options, and then tagging, export tagging, which isn't important unless you're going to um, export this as an EPUB, so basically a digital publication that could be um, uh, put into a Kindle format or an iPad format for uh, a digital book. All right. So um, you, once you've done that, you can click that. Now you see that now it shows up in my list here. So how do you apply that? Well, it's really easy. Um, so I'm going to do product name. So you just select that. And then all you need to do, well, actually, first you want to select your wording. So I'm going to select digital cards. And then I'm going to click product name. And now you'll see it took on that style. So rather than having to select this and increase the size of the font and change the font, um, change the font color, the character color, all I had to do was click on product name. Uh, there's also this little uh, quick apply. Um, and I can't remember quite what that does. So let's try that. Let's try, I'll highlight that and we'll click quick apply. Oh, and that pops up um, a list here that you can see the um, styles you have, or you can do some other ba basic styles that are part of InDesign as well. So that's all there is to creating a character style.